done for step two is a side sit. Now everything that we've done, as we talked about before, has been in front of us for the most part. Our sits, our downs, our touches, everything has been here in this primary reinforcement zone. What we're looking for now is to get our dog to sit um, on our left hand side. So Tessa here is going to demonstrate moving a dog with a lure, a treat up their nose, into a side sit position. She's going to have the dog sitting, take the treat on the nose, step back with her left foot, turn the dog around behind her and have him step up and then ask for the sit. Now, if you think about it, if you're a right-handed person, these two hands look different. And if your dog is sitting next to you, the visual on that hand also looks different. So it's gonna take a little bit for your dog to understand that this means the same as this, especially from the position that they're in. So you might have to lure a sit for a while. Your dog knows sit to mean sit here, maybe not necessarily here, and that's what we're gonna work on. So, Captain. <laughs> what are you tired about? She's so tired. <laughs> all right. It's like I just did all of step one. <laughs> So she turns him around behind him and has him step up and asks for the sit there. What's going to eventually happen, the dog's going to be more comfortable sitting there, so then you can ask for downs or whatever. But for now, um, she's going to lure him back to the front, get a nice sit. And again, she's going to step back with that left foot and turn him around behind her and step him up. If she doesn't do that, I'm actually going to have you just try to turn him at your knee he should end up in front of her, which is a little bit awkward. And we're gonna show with Gandalf here in a minute, a much bigger dog. So if he sits here, he's kind of in front of her, so he, it's harder for him to look back. That stepping back puts him behind her so he can walk up shoulder to knee and be in a really great position. There we go. And now we'll show with Gandalf as well. Um, if you wanna walk him up, I'll send Captain that way. I'll let Jess talk and she can talk her we're not, Come on, we're not leaving. Come on, we're not leaving. Come on. Why are we not leaving? I, I would like to go leaving. Come on. All right, Gandalf. Gandalf. All right, so if he's not paying attention to me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk up my leash like so, get his attention with a nice large piece of chicken. Come on, bud. Oh, very good. Sit. Very good. So part of what we're going for is just your dog getting used to being reinforced by your side. So, Gandalf. Gandalf, come. Very good. So we're gonna start at the front, then we're gonna lure. I dropped it on the floor, thereby wrecking my goal. So, <laughs> come here, bud. Sit. Yes. And you can also, instead of the food lure, you can use your touch. Hand off. Come on. Touch. What do you smell? Hand off. He caught a whiff of something over there. And sit. Yes, good boy. So as your dog gets better at this, you can work on things like having them sit right very close to you. You can work on having them sit straight by your side. But really, for this point, we are working on getting them rewarded here to build the secondary reinforcement zone. So anything that they can do by your side that they can get rewarded for. Come here, bud. I know, you're tired too. 